okay a very good morning to all of you dear students now we will start with the biology lecture for today which is 14th of july i request you all to kindly mute yourselves i request each one of you to mute yourselves so that we can begin with the lecture i request you all to mute yourselves so that we can begin with the lecture okay thank you so our today's lecture on origin on evolution will talk about the chemical theory of evolution today we will be discussing about a new theory the chemical theory of evolution i have sent across on the home page of this group an assignment yesterday and i have asked you all to write down these questions on a piece of paper now the questions that i have put forth is what kind of molecule is piclina piclina is a molecule okay we shall see where this molecule is and what it is doing second question when did piclina's journey begin that is the time like how many years back third one where was piclina stuck for a long time which funny character did piclina the molecule meet in the puddle number 5 name the giant molecule snake which molecules detested h2o and where did the water molecule find itself eventually trapped these are the seven questions which i have put for today as we begin today's lecture with an assignment now these questions are you clear about if there is anything that you are not quite clear about just keep the question aside we'll come back to it a little later okay as and when i request you please mention okay in the comment box if everything is fine as in the slide is clear you are able to understand what i am saying and so on now what we are going to do is i will put up a video for you okay i'm going to put up a video for you okay girls i want one of you all can you hear me girls yes, yes ma'am ma okay okay please mute yourselves i want one of you all to just say okay when i put up this video i want to know whether you are able to hear the sound the audio for this okay there is a very interesting video coming up are you all able to see the video girls hello no, no ma'am no okay one second this has always been a problem it says it's sharing are you not able to see the video yeah. no ek second now you now are you able to see o as origin no ma'am a 
एक सेकेंड बट योर इट सेट इज शोइंग Now are you able to see? No, ma'am. no ma'am okay now once you start seeing the video please let me know i am i'll keep trying this because it is important these are technical things yesterday you also you must have seen okay now i guess it will start abhi dekho ma'am ha yes ma'am it yes. started yes. okay okay now are you able to hear the audio please tell me the music ma'am the video is paused nahi i have not paused the video do you see the video yes ma'am yes ma'am see it now are you yes, able to hear the there is no audio, audio. Okay, no ma'am okay no ma'am Are you able to hear the audio? No, ma'am. No, yes. ma'am. Audio is clear. No, ma'am. Yes. Huh? No, ma'am. No, you should be able to hear the audio because I have shared the audio here. No, I'm the audio is not. What a phone! An ice cube. What a molecules were stacked as if in a crystal. Yes, Miss. Now it's coming. Yes, ma'am. Audio is able to hear the audio. Okay. Uh, now we are going to start with this audio. Please pay attention, girls. Okay. It's taken a bit of a time, but we shall begin now. I want all of you to mute yourselves. One, second, you have a set of questions with you. Three, you're going to see the video, and as and when you proceed with the video, you will be able to answer these questions. The minute you get the answer to your questions, you will write down the answer because it's a one-word answer. Clear? Okay. So we shall begin with the audio, with video. and i want you to write down the answers on the paper that you have kindly mute yourselves Round and round for a long time. I ordered it with them. 
most of the other ashlars were combining with one another into big blocks of ice and rocks. Before long, they were the size of planets. In fact, they were planets. By then, fewer and fewer asteroids were hitting the planets, and the planets cooled down. The old planets were covered with ice and water. They must have been bombarded by tons of icy meteorites, just like mine. It had to happen. One of these big planets pulled us in. What a fall! In ice, we water molecules were stacked as if in a crystal without being able to move. They call us H2O. We're made of one atom of oxygen and two atoms of hydrogen. A little heat, the right pressure, and we're free to move in all directions. We become liquid water, the elixir of life. In my puddle, I met a lot of funny characters. Lots of H2Os like me, of course, but also many other molecules. Most of them made of carbon. It was like a parade with simple molecules like methane and the famous CO2. And those made of carbon chains like the amino acids. What a surprise! Some were very complicated or extra long. They had formed on our planet or had come from space. Soon I began to see more and more extravagant molecules. So really fantastic. I thought that on this planet we would have lots of fun. One day, I came face to face with a giant molecular snake. A polymer made of dozens of molecules attached to each other. More and more molecular chains of great complexity came from a crack in the bottom of my pond. I got closer and closer to figure out what was happening. They were putting on a show. Molecules of the same family were assembling on crystals of clay. A little chemistry, and they found themselves chained into polymers. We H2Os entered the dance of their chemical reaction. Things had changed with the polymers. They could not stop splitting apart or pairing. Some polymers were even duplicated. Some of the most bizarre were the hydrophobes. They really detest us H2Os, so much so that they make bubbles as soon as they see us. But the hydrophobe dance is so beautiful when they make bubbles and membranes. There were so many hydrophobes that it scared me. The bottom of the pond was coated with a kind of oily film as the gang of the hydrophobes spread all over. I wanted to get closer to them and scare them back. When suddenly, I found myself trapped inside a bubble of hydrophobes. Oh no! I wasn't alone. Kinds of molecules were trapped with me. Amino acids, polymers, sugars. With time, I got used to my little cell. In fact, we had a great time.
but as our bubble kept gobbling everything inside, it started to feel really crowded. I request everyone to mute yourself, please. There is disturbance. Kindly mute yourself, each one of you. I request each one of you to mute yourself. got worse when some big polymers started duplicating. I was just about to protest when I heard a loud noise. And that's how life began. It's been such a long time. I don't remember all the details. But scientists say it probably happened just like that. Millions of years have passed, and somehow I haven't changed. But look around at what came out of my little bubble of hydrophobe. The amazing diversity of life. Isn't that neat? And believe me, evolution will continue. I can hear some disturbance. I request you all. Girls, please let me know who is it. Taiba Abdul. Taiba, please mute yourself. Taiba, please mute yourself. Girls, one of you, please call her and ask her to mute herself. Mom, you can also mute her. All right, girls, so I'm sure you all must have had a look at the audio and the video, right? Correct. So now you have the questions to which most of the answers you must have got. Am I right? Please yes, type OK. Uh, please type OK. OK, as much as possible, do not unmute yourselves. I want you to write down the answers and just go through these answers for a moment and then we will start with the discussion so first question what kind of molecule is picolina Y'all have gone through these questions and y'all have seen the video. What according to you is Picolina? It's a... Could one of you unmute yourselves? Picolina is a... Water molecule. Correct, that's right. Picolina is a water molecule. When did Picolina's journey... When did Picolina's journey begin? From space. Yes, but how many years back? There was one word which will help us to know that Picolina's journey started around. Somebody has taken control of the PPT around 4 billion years ago. 
so this journey of water molecule has started around 4 billion years ago where was picolina the water molecule stuck in the puddle uh no not really it was stuck in the chunk of an ice they guys chunk correct big guys chunk that's right which was frozen in a meteorite it was frozen in meteorite which funny characters this is where actually it is it should make sense to us because we will be discussing these things which funny characters did picolina the h2o molecule meet in the puddle any one of you methane like amino one? acid one second one person methane methane amino acid co2 dioxide carbon, carbon molecule correct that's right absolutely so there was methane carbon dioxide carbon molecule and also other amino acids okay next question name the giant molecular snake that picolina came across one of you polymer correct polymer. that's absolutely right a polymer that's right polymer next one made of dozen which of correct which molecules detested protested against h2o or the beautiful cute picolina molecule which molecules detested h2o that's right the name itself says and gives a clarity hydrophobes last one where did the h2o molecule find itself trapped in the bubble in hydrophobes hydro bubble of you know? hydrophobes yeah that's right bubble you of remember hydrophobes. correct if you remember the video that you saw just now this picolina molecule which is a water molecule by the name of picolina it was stuck itself it had got itself stuck in a round circular molecules of hydrophobes correct okay now depending on these questions and the video that we have seen is our concept for today this was just a kind of set induction for you to understand and get interested in our topic for today which is the oparin haldane theory of chemical origin of life girls i just want to know is it being recorded yes ma'am okay yes please yes ma'am mute ma yourselves please mute yourselves because we are going to start with this now let us quickly try to see what is it that we have done so far so far we have seen a video in this video there was one second in this video there was a molecule named picolina which is a water molecule and we have seen the journey of this water molecule and how there was formation of first cell also we have discussed few questions which will help us to understand the series of events that are taking place in this journey of water molecule depending on this we shall now further get into the details of the same about origin of life yani ke ye sari cheeze jo humne abhi tak ki wo kyu ki hai क्योंकि हमको और एक थ्योरी आज पढ़ना है एंड द नेम ऑफ दैट थ्योरी इज व्हाट इज द नेम ऑफ दिस थ्योरी ओपारिन हालदेन थ्योरी ऑफ केमिकल ओरिजिन ऑफ लाइफ हाउ लाइफ केम इनटू एग्जिस्टेंस बिकॉज ऑफ अ सीरीज ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस टेकिंग प्लेस दिस थ्योरी इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द सेल्फ असेंबली थ्योरी somebody has taken control over the ppt okay oparin's haldane theory of chemical origin of life okay now 
basically before we get into the details of this theory let us try to understand the introduction or the concept that forms this theory the oparin haldane theory okay understand for many decades my dear girls for many decades scientists believed that the atmosphere on this earth was of reducing type abhi reducing type of atmosphere matlab kya meaning there was an atmosphere where there were lot of things present however free oxygen was not available point number 1 yani ki aisa atmosphere jisme free oxygen nahi hai ya an atmosphere which is devoid of oxygen which doesn't have oxygen in large numbers freely available aise environment ko tum kya bologe reducing environment reducing atmosphere so according to scientist the primitive atmosphere that is the atmosphere when the earth was formed was of reducing type this atmosphere did not have oxygen in large numbers and if it was present it was present in limited form because of low oxygen levels because of poor conditions of oxygen present in this primitive atmosphere it would have resulted in other gases being present in large numbers which were the other gases that were present in large numbers noxious gases like methane carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide and ammonia were flourishing at that time yani ke oxygen jo apna hero hai aaj ke environment mein wo nahi tha lekin ye baki sare cheeze were flourishing were predominantly present and which were the other things present the other things that were present there at that point of time were methane carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide and ammonia and we all know beyond a point all these are lethal gases so the atmosphere on this earth during the primitive time in the formative years became very lethal jahan pe life cannot survive but of course we are talking about the primitive atmosphere abhi life existence mein aaya hi nahi hai to survival ka chance hi nahi hai some changes will now take place which will result in formation of life to date to the current time there remains a widely accepted theory of how life may have built its first beings or its first forms in such a deadly atmospheric cocktail आज तक साइंटिस्ट ये सोच रहे हैं कि इतना डेडली गैसेस एक टाइम पे हुआ करता था उसमें लाइफ कैसे फॉर्म हो सकता है सो दिस वाज एन एब्सोल्यूट डेडली टॉक्सिक एटमोस्फेरिक कॉकटेल मिक्स ऑफ ऑल पॉइजनस गैसेस एंड फ्रॉम देयर द जर्नी ऑफ लाइफ हैज स्टार्टेड व्हाट इंप्लीकेशंस कैन वी हैव फ्रॉम दिस दिस gives us a clear idea that no matter what the circumstances are if you constantly look for change or evolution the final product that you get will be very different from the journey from where you start this is what the chemical theory of oparin haldane tells us another thing that you need to know is all of this has happened billions of years ago and billions of years ago as a planet formed it was obviously born as a molten rock there were poisonous vapors slowly because of the cooling the ones that were heavier started going to the center 
today also we have a proof and validation of the fact that the ones that are present at the center are present in the form of a solid rock which went which can come out in molten form in the form of volcanoes so this thin skin which is present on the external surface in the form of a fragile cover that is the earth's crust internally has molten lava so just if we get into the internal core just a few miles away from the external periphery nothing but the molten lava is there which is floating there within and which can erupt out in some places for hundreds of millions of years ours was this violent world a world made up of poisonous gases a world having molten lava a world devoid of life and a world devoid of oxygen life or oxygen usme nahi tha no one knows for certain girls how why and when it actually happened these changes but they are saying that around 2 billion years ago in a warm shallow pool humne abhi ek video dekha hai jisme ek shallow pool dikhta tha humko a tiny cell a tiny creature must have developed you understand the key to that video now a tiny creature must have developed a creature which had the ability to divide and reproduce itself and change itself continuously to meet the challenges of a harsh environment nothing came easy to this first cell it had to constantly modify itself change itself evolve so as to form today's cell the challenges that it had to meet and thereby destiny for this cell was such that this beautiful earth started having diverse organisms which eventually this one cell became the father and mother of all life forms on this earth to oparin halden theory hame kya bolta hai wo humko kehta hai ki ye jo sare changes tumko dikh rahe hai aaj wo sare changes ka beginning kahan se hua in the most unfavorable conditions have you understood the concept of oparin halden theory thereby let us try to understand this theory the theory of chemical evolution was expounded by just give me a second girls one second ah huh? let's then spam me all right i'm going to share a video for with you let's then spam me assumes that seeds of do you see the video girls no ma'am this is a major problem it says sharing now do you see the video no ma'am no, ma no wait 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 a second it will come wait i know i understand now is it visible no ma'am no ma'am um it's in you can see it you are now sharing it says origin of life this video don't you see 
not showing anything i can hear illegal weapons song please mute yourselves one second it will come presenting it says just a second it's coming it's coming one second it's a bit slow we can't help presenting it saying uh, you'll be able to see origin of life presenting i don't know why this is slow my network is full see these are the technical things we can't help ha huh. abhi no ma'am it's not visible you can share the link in the chat box how will that help everyone can see able... watch the video in their phone like going oh. to the link okay one second it's it is saying presenting which means i have shared right it says presenting but because there is an option also to which says stop present we are not able to view the video yeah yeah correct one second beta one minute it's a beautiful video you have to see this for things to be very simple okay fine i don't want to waste more time i'll try it one more time a little later okay now do you see मिनट यस Okay all right let's start So in our previous lecture we have completed the biogenesis theory and the theory put forth by Louis Pasteur In today's lecture let us try to understand the idea of the people behind this chemical theory of evolution Okay the chemical theory of evolution was put forth by two scientists alexander ivanovich oparin and british scientist john burden sanderson haldane they proposed that the first form of life originated from pre-existing ones already there was something that was available because of which life came into existence and these pre-existing forms were non-living in nature not just that they were also organic molecules which were responsible for formation of as you can see on your screen the rna and the fully developed proteins according to them they pointed out that the birth of life was preceded was carried out by a kind of chemical evolution by a kind of chemical reaction 
that was taking place by formation of diverse organic molecules and these organic molecules were forming from inorganic forms ye sabse important line hai so formation of organic molecules from inorganic form is the fundamental basis of our theory which is chemical evolution of life when the earth was created according to this theory the conditions of the earth were exactly identical to the one that you see on your screen the temperatures were very high volcanic eruptions volcanic storms volcanic activities were taking place reducing atmosphere was there atmosphere which was devoid of oxygen freely available however this environment had methane and ammonia flourishing on this earth so now you can see that an atmosphere is present which has methane and ammonia flourishing on this earth there is very little oxygen available and in such a condition if you want the first amino acid to form and from which a protein will be formed a series of reactions will take place and these reactions will convert the inorganic molecules to organic forms and thereby leading to formation of the first cell so oparin haldane's theory of chemical evolution talks about this journey of life from non living components is that clear with you girls have you understood so far of what we are trying to say yes yes, yes. ma'am okay great now one second just give me a second see we are trying to grow very very slow because once we start with the actual theory then it will be very easy the points coming straight to the point now Oparin's Haldane theory of chemical evolution comprises of seven main points. And let us discuss each of these points in details. Are you able to see the PPT girls? Yes ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma great, great. Please mute yourselves. Let's begin. with the theory part now now you have a brief idea and also the visuals of videos which talked about the chemical theory let us discuss this chemical theory in detail oparin's halde chemical theory or the process of chemical evolution took place in seven important steps let's try to understand these steps oparin's haldane's theory of chemical evolution talks about how the earth was and the kind of environment that the earth had when it was in its primitive stages yani ke jab bhi ye earth form ho raha tha cool down ho raha tha to ye earth kaisa tha uska nature kaisa tha it was like a hot boiling ball of mass and the atmosphere of the primitive earth was very different from today's one from this condition where the origin of the earth was taking place and the primitive atmosphere that was present which was devoid of free oxygen in the first place ammonia water and methane were formed dekho kaise step by step there is evolution or progressive formation of life so there was this atmosphere of primitive earth which was quite hot had very little oxygen or almost you can say it was devoid of oxygen from which ammonia water and methane came into existence ammonia water and methane were responsible for forming simple organic compounds so from point number 3 one second from i will show you with the help of a pointer this ammonia methane and water which is inorganic in nature leads to the formation of organic compounds which are simple in nature 
formation of complex organic compounds from simple organic compounds was the next step because of the complex organic compounds the first nucleic acids came into existence and eventually once the nucleic acids were formed the pre cells or the proto bion cells isko real cells nahi bol sakte ye intermediate hai between nucleic acids and the actual cell of today's time yani ki nucleic acid hai jiske paas ability hai nucleic acids yani kya apna dna iske paas ability hai to multiply to reproduce uske baad प्री सेल्स आ गए प्री सेल्स में क्या होता था द प्री सेल्स कुड ग्रो इन साइज यू हैव सीन इट इन द वीडियो एंड उसके बाद आया फर्स्ट सेल ऐसी कौन सी चीज थी जो फर्स्ट सेल में थी और न्यूक्लिक एसिड या प्री सेल में नहीं थी जिसकी वजह से एक फर्स्ट सेल को हम फर्स्ट सेल बोल सकते हैं आई रिपीट देर वॉज समथिंग वेरी डिस्टिंग दैट वॉज प्रेजेंट that defined the character of this first cell and what was it that was present in this first cell this first cell had the ability to carry out metabolic activities pre cells mein growth dikhai de raha tha division dikhai de raha tha lekin metabolic activities ka character was only seen in the first cell once again the process of chemical evolution took place in seven steps first of all it talks about the origin of the earth the primitive atmosphere of the earth finally you talk about presence of ammonia water and methane there from these ammonia water and methane came simple organic compounds simple organic compounds led to the formation of complex organic compounds complex organic compounds led to the formation of nucleic acids you have all studied the structure in brief of dna if you want to make a dna strand tumko kiski zarurat hai complex organic compounds ki ek pentose sugar chahiye ek nitrogen base chahiye aur ek phosphate group chahiye so this pentose sugar nitrogen base and phosphate group are complex organic compounds which led to the formation of nucleic acids from this nucleic acids when they started multiplying they form the pre cells they showing growth and from the pre cells came first form of life which is the first cell my dear girls let us start a journey of chemical theory of evolution in a much detailed form i would want you all to all refer to page number 95 the first point agar ye question exam mein aata hai for four marks explain the chemical theory of evolution or the self assembly theory of evolution you are supposed to write down these points first and explain each of the point in detail the first point the origin of the earth and primitive atmosphere to explain the origin of the earth on the primitive and the primitive atmosphere scientists have used the big bang theory this big bang theory was put forth i request you to kindly mute yourselves who is this child please mute yourself theory of big bang was put forth by george lemaitre in the year 1931 this could be asked as an mcq please underline it according to this theory the universe must have originated about 20 billion years ago it's as old as 20 billion years ago very interesting what does the big bang theory say i will also show you all a video but towards the end let us talk in concrete way by using a ppt according to this big bang theory entire universe 
was in the form of a closely knit atom yani ke tum log ka ek group tha usko koi bhi break nahi kar sakta aisa hi hamara universe tha lekin achanak se kuch hua now we don't know what happened how it happened what was the condition or the reasons for such a kind of incident say for example 7:58 pm tak ye pura universe ek atom jaisa tha bada 7:59 7 hours 59 minutes mein there was a big bang explosion which is a big titanic explosion and because of this explosion the universe expanded and because the universe expanded the temperature started decreasing yani kya hua ye jo close knit ek friend ka circle tha wo achanak se toot gaya aur tootne ki wajah se many diversified tiny particles were formed and this huge titanic explosion ki wajah se each one of the said fine nothing to do with one atom we will now remain as individual identities in the form of various galaxies of solid objects so many galaxies are present in a universe of which milky way is one galaxy or is milky way mein अपना सोलर सिस्टम एक छोटा सा पार्ट है ऑफ दिस ह्यूज गैलेक्सी व्हिच इज अ मिल्की वे वन स्मॉल पार्ट इज अ सोलर सिस्टम एंड ऑफ दैट सोलर सिस्टम द सन ऑक्युपाइज 99% ऑफ द एनर्जी फॉर इट्स फॉर्मेशन अभी 1% जिससे बचता है उसका कूलिंग होने की वजह से ऑल ऑफ दीस प्लैनेट्स हैव फॉर्मड of which the third one to form is the earth the earth is one of the planets of the solar system and the origin of the earth pay attention to the slide is about 4.6 billion years ago about 4.6 billion years ago our earth came into existence lekin ye wala earth nahi tha kuch aur hi wala earth tha ek red ball अगर आयन का आप लो और उसको हीट करो एंड यू हीट इट टू द पॉइंट दैट दैट आयन टर्न्स रेड वैसा अपना अर्थ था दिस अर्थ दैट वाज प्रेजेंट अराउंड 4.6 इयर्स अगो बिलियन इयर्स अगो वाज अ रोटेटिंग क्लाउड ऑफ हॉट गैसेस एंड कॉस्मिक डस्ट अगेन एन एमसीक्यू इट इज देयर इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक अंडरलाइन द वर्ड नेब्यूला व्हाट इज नेब्यूला the earth which appeared to be a rotating cloud of hot gases and cosmic dust in its primitive stages is nebula eventually this earth kept on moving around itself and because it was moving around itself it started cooling but initially this earth was moving around itself at a much faster rate jiski wajah se the day would be completed in just 6 hours eventually thodi time ke baad gussa aur thoda kam hua aur thoda kam hua thoda kam hote hote the earth eventually settled down to how many hours a day 24 hours a day is that clear the condensation and cooling resulted in stratification now stratification matlab kya stratification is nothing but layering अगर मुझे अर्थ को लेयर करना ही है तो ऑब्वियसली हेवियर मेटल्स लाइक निकेल एंड आयन विल मूव डाउन सेटल डाउन टू द कोर लाइटर वंस लाइक हीलियम हाइड्रोजन नाइट्रोजन कार्बन विल स्टार्ट मूविंग अप एंड कम टू द सरफेस देयर बाय द एटमोस्फेयर ऑफ द अर्थ इन द प्रिमेटिव फॉर्म वाज वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द वन दैट इज प्रेजेंट टुडे 
how was the atmosphere the atmosphere was devoid of free oxygen it was of reducing type it had methane ammonia freely available and all the other gases being lighter in nature started moving towards the periphery on the outer side forming the atmosphere of the earth and iron nickel and other heavy elements sank to the center of the earth forming the core of the earth this is the first point for chemical theory of evolution which is how was the earth formed is that clear girls let's move to the next one atmosphere of the primitive earth around 3600 million years ago was of reducing type where there was very little oxygen available let us come to the second point now formation of ammonia water and methane abhi if you pay attention and if you are mentally with me ha huh? not just physically there tumko dikhega ki at every stage stage one character is revealing its identity aisa tumko lagega ki sare 10 12 bacche agar ek line mein khade kar diye jaye aur unke upar maine ek mask laga diya jaye जो मास्क है रणबीर सिंह के फेस का और एक अगर मास्क निकालता है निकालते हो तो पता चलते अरे वंशी का है दूसरा मास्क निकाल दिया तो जोया है तीसरा मास्क निकाल दिया तो पवित्री है चौथा मास्क निकाल दिया तो उमे सलमा है और सबने मास्क तो लगाया है रणबीर सिंह का यू अंडरस्टैंड सो नाउ एट ईच पॉइंट वी आर गोइंग टू रिलीव रिवील अ न्यू मेंबर the primitive atmosphere of the earth was very different it was very hot at that time as there was cooling slowly taking place because of an appropriate environment zyada gussa hota hai to apna thinking ability band ho jata hai thoda shant hone ke baad you realize oh yes there is a solution to this problem same thing is happening here the light Lighter elements. कौन से कौन से lighter elements यहाँ पे है? There is helium, there is hydrogen, there is nitrogen, there is oxygen present in limited form, and there is carbon. The lighter elements they started reacting with each other. The early atmosphere was rich in hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, and sulfur. Because of the internal reactions. all of these started forming some chemicals lekin isme sabse shana kon obviously apna hydrogen sabse lightest bhi hai and sabse active bhi hai ek jagah pe baithega hi nahi hydrogen was very active and light also in nature thereby it started combining अभी किसके साथ फ्रेंडशिप करेगा नाइट्रोजन अवेलेबल है ऑक्सीजन अवेलेबल है कार्बन अवेलेबल है सिंपल नाइट्रोजन के साथ दोस्ती हो गई फॉर्मिंग अमोनिया ऑक्सीजन के साथ दोस्ती हो गई फॉर्मिंग वाटर कार्बन के साथ दोस्ती हो गई फॉर्मिंग मीथेन सो हाइड्रोजन बीइंग अ वेरी एक्टिव कॉम्पोनेट इट स्टार्टेड रिएक्टिंग विथ नाइट्रोजन टू फॉर्म अमोनिया ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म वॉटर carbon to form methane thereby formation of ammonia water and methane were all possible because of its chemical reactions because of which we are studying it under chemical evolution of life chemical reactions with hydrogen resulted in formation of ammonia water and methane because the temperatures were very high ammonia methane remained as gases whereas water also remained as stem steam here okay the first chemicals formed on the earth were thereby considered to be ammonia water and methane slowly temperature started coming down steam now condensed condensation ho raha hai started coming down in the form of rain and water bodies were formed and 
these water bodies had water accumulated in them to so, abhi maine jo first picture aapko dikhaya tha jisme there were just volcanic eruptions wo scene change ho gaya now they are a bit tired of fighting with all the heat now because there is cooling taking place and because of water being formed see which are the things coming into existence there are water bodies there is water there is methane there is ammonia and because there is water also there is somewhere release of oxygen also coming into picture these compounds were now accumulated in water bodies and they were obviously accumulated in sea now from there there was formation of simple organic compounds please pay attention there is a possibility that you can get drifted away i'll try to keep it as little as possible but at least one concept we need to discuss very important from exam point of view how did the simple organic molecules come into existence because the temperatures were now decreasing steam which was condensed into water was leading to heavy rainfall and this rainfall cooled the earth to another level the water was now accumulating in rivers streams lakes oceans the atmosphere did not have ozone layer at that time please underline this line in your textbook page number 95 point number 3 the atmosphere did not have ozone layer and because kyunki agar earth pe hi oxygen freely available nahi hai ozone kahan se form hoga because there was no ozone ultraviolet radiations of the sun started reaching the earth gradually abhi aur ek chehra khul gaya hai somehow we know that atmaja from df class has come here in abc class the atmosphere now had the penetration of ultraviolet radiation under the influence of the available energy resources this ultraviolet radiations jisme lightning already ho raha hai volcanic eruptions bhi ho rahe hai early molecules of hydrocarbons ammonia methane or water bhi hai ye to pura ingredients ho gaya ek recipe ke liye aur recipe kaun sa hai recipe is forming first life ultraviolet radiations lightning other radiations volcanic activities ek ek recipe ka ingredient dekho early molecules of hydrocarbons ammonia methane water all will undergo a series of reactions what are the reactions that they are undergoing to go condensation which is cooling precipitation polymerization what is polymerization polymerization is forming a long chain of molecules ye sab kuch hone ke baad eventually this will result in the formation of simple molecules and which are the simple molecules the simple molecules are point number 2 monosaccharides amino acids purines pyrimidines fatty acids and glycerol glycerol important molecules from biological point of view such as simple sugars came into existence so now the condition of the earth and the atmosphere on the earth according to parin haldin and other scientist is considered to be like a broth or a bowl with hot soup hot soup kyu bola hai usko which indicates ki ye jo sab drama ho raha hai wo kahan ho raha hai sea mein ho raha hai jiski wajah se hame kya surag milta hai what is it that we can reveal from this situation that life the first form of life has existed from or come into existence from a water body isliye correct please mute yourselves the water body 
hot dilute soup or primitive broth which has organic substance present within themselves in the form of monosaccharides amino acids purines pyrimidines all of these were responsible for the first formation of life and thereby the anomaly of comparing it to a hot dilute soup or primitive broth you remember the pickelina video that you have seen where the water molecule talks about its journey this is what it means and from them from the micro molecules macro molecules came into existence macro molecules were now formed because of other reactions in the hot dilute sterile soup different organic molecules collided in this broth reacted within themselves aggregated form group of molecules and macro molecules came into existence such polysaccharides like fats proteins nucleosides and nucleotides were formed because of various reactions taking place uske baad kya hua abhi dekho fats available hai proteins available hai nucleosides available hai nucleotides available you all know what is a nucleotide and nucleoside phosphate group nikal diya and you added phosphate group nitrogen base and pentose sugar nucleotide ban gaya polymerization which is forming of an amino acid chain ek chain mein tumne bahut sare amino acids laga diye us chain ko tum kya naam doge protein molecule proto proteins first proteins which had the ability to react show or act as enzymes came into existence the minute a protein molecule was formed we all know proteins are building blocks of life the first cell had its probability of coming into existence amino acids ki wajah se ek protein molecule form ho gaya phosphoric acid sugar were resulting in formation of purines and pyrimidines giving rise to nucleotide nucleotides were joining themselves to form nucleic acids ek chain form ho gaya abhi this year you will study replication of dna by semi conservative method ek chain apne aap naya dusra chain form kar sakta hai replicate kar sakta hai reproduce kar sakta hai we have all seen in the first lecture attributes of living organisms the ability to reproduce the ability to produce something of its own kind is a characteristic feature of a living form to kuch agar replicate kar raha hai to obviously wo living hai first form of cells which could now reproduce and reproduce hi nahi which could again grow further they were the first form of cells called as the protobionts or the pre cells they were formed by nucleic acids aur usme kya tha organic or inorganic molecules yani pre cell matlab kya ek aisa cell jisme nucleic acid maine dal diya जिसमें इनऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल मैंने डाल दिया और ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल भी डाल दिया ये तीनों चीजों से एक प्री सेल फॉर्म हो गया दीज सेल्स व्हिच वर फॉर्म्ड ऑफ अ न्यूक्लिक एसिड इन ऑर्गेनिक एंड ऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स वर टर्म्ड एज को एसरवेट्स बाय अ रिनाउंड साइंटिस्ट बाय द नेम ऑफ ऑपरेन सेम थिंग because they contain some form of protein were called as proteinoids or microspheres by dr sydney fox accordingly these two people helped us in evolving the terms coasservate theory by operon operon and the proteinoids or the microsphere theory by sydney fox from these pre cells the first cell came into existence apne paas nucleic acid hai inorganic molecule hai organic molecule hai abhi isme hum aur ek cheez dal dete hai isko metabolic activities ke liye instigate karte hai isko bolte hai chalo tum you start with metabolic activities these cells were now able to start protein synthesis 
metabolic activities which eventually led to the completion of a cell that is pre cell say the today's present living form cell came into existence is that clear with each one of you i think this is kind of more than enough for today but before we end girls i want something to be done just give me a second okay somebody has taken control uh one second i need to take the attendance for today excuse me ma'am yes acha yes. tell me ma'am you complete the first formation like full para no are a hatte to phek ha beta full hello yes ma'am aapne wo formation of cell ka pura complete kar diya na formation of cells yes correct formation of cells but we have to discuss coacervate theory we have to discuss microsphere theory ek chhota paragraph hai dekho that will be discussing in the next lecture because it is 1242 ha okay so we are discussing coacervate theory and uh, microsphere theory next time and also in addition to this we'll be doing miller urey experiment all right okay ma'am Okay fine if there are any questions queries i would want you all to just write them down on the home page for this group uh, i just need a feedback were you all able to understand today's lecture please comment in the comment box and uh, yes there are certain things that are beyond our control that is the uh, presentations taking a bit of a longer time you know to get across to you so apart from that i hope i am clear in what i have discussed today with you all anybody would like to comment would anybody like to comment hello hello Yeah. Anybody yes, would ma'am. like to comment? Yes, please say one person at a time. Hello. Yes, ma'am. We understood. Yes, ma'am. The lecture was good. You understood the concept, right? That's all that I want to know. Please go through this. I'll be posting the uh, video also for the same. okay i'll stop the recording